Okay, no hint of the woods yet. I'm out in an area with some very large red oaks and I'm um, hoping to find some hint of the woods. Someone brought some uh, into the restaurant this weekend and it wasn't me. Here's a big red oak. It's not even really that big of an oak um, compared to some of them. There's a bigger one back here. Some of these oaks I'd guess to be 200 years old um, easily uh, maybe 250 some of the really big ones this guy here I'd guess about a I don't know 125 150 you know, I am not a tree expert but that'd be my guess what I really wanted to show is that I am on a, a karst landscape and what a karst landscape is um, there's a lot of uh, limestone around here which has a very high calcium carbonate um, makeup and it's easily dissolved by the organic um, acids produced from um, well the organic material uh, which gets in and mixes with the soil and then the result is what you'll see here where I don't want to fall into see how close I can get right up to the edge there a woodpecker back there pileated woodpecker um, so underground, where I'm standing, there are numerous caves and caverns and channels um, that have been carved out. Um, the carbonic acid that's found in the underground water easily dissolves the, uh, the limestone and it uh, results in what we have here. So there's a lot of uh, bumpy, uh, rocky areas up and down. Um, and what happened here, my guess, is a lot of the the area I'm in looks like there's little ravines that run here's one and there's a more defined one this way and then here is um, it might be hard to tell with the video but this is pretty a pretty good hill so all the water is is looking for the lowest point and this happens to be it and the result is basically a sinkhole and you can see over time um, where the water coming down this ravine has actually worn away these rocks, this limestone rock. See if I can get a better angle. Again, I don't want it to fall in. So that thing goes down quite a bit farther than I think I can show you with the video, but you can get an idea. And then it's up and down throughout here. Can be fairly challenging and obviously can be fairly dangerous if you are not paying attention to what you're doing. Good thing about uh, this area. I am uh, looking for hen of the woods uh, fall mushroom and uh, usually it's found at the base of oak trees. I've heard other hardwoods but I've always seen it at the uh, base of m mostly red oaks out here. There are some white oaks but predominantly I'm finding them on the red oaks out here. Now here's a big red oak with a split trunk next to some white pine. Uh, so, not sure what caused that to, to come out like that, to split. I know with a lot of the white pines, there's a white pine weevil. Uh, especially in Centennial Woods, you see a lot of the uh, white pines that are split. And that was from infestation of the white pine weevil. Another fairly large oak over here. And then we've got some uh, Fagus grandifolia, the American beech. And not seeing any hint of the woods, just kind of really wanted to show you guys karst landscape. And this was named um, after someone, I don't know the exact history, but um, somewhere in Italy, uh, Slovenia, in that area, the, uh, the name originated many, many years ago, before I was born, probably before you all were born. So, there it is. Check some more trees. Not seeing too much out here right now. Do see some birch polypore, um, which is typically on the white birch, and it's not an edible. I haven't really researched it. I'm sure it could have medicinal value, but these things look a lot like Hypsizigus ulmarius, which is the elm oyster, um, a fall mushroom, but it's not one. This is a uh, 
fairly hard, kind of rubbery now, and then they harden up. As they age, looks like another little flush of something over here. I'm sure it's not edible. It's a polypore, my guess is. And this wood is rotting from the inside out, so it's not pine. Pine would rot from the outside in, but a little flush of some inedible mushrooms. Nonetheless, it's a good sign for what I'm doing. The birds are chirping. Pretty cloudy. Nice cool day. Must be in the low to mid 70s, probably low 70s. So just a, just about a perfect day for mushroom hunting. Um, not really many mosquitoes. If I stand too long in one place, they kind of figure out I'm here. But other than that, um, you can't ask for much better of a day to be out in the forest looking for hen of the woods mushrooms here in Vermont. I'll tell you what, just beautiful. I'm very grateful. So all of you that are checking out my Facebook page and are out in the woods or have been out, I hope you're having a little better luck than I have been. I think a couple more cool nights, a little bit more moisture, and some patience and we should be seeing some hen of the woods, especially in this area. I love this place. For some reason, knock on wood, no one seems to find the uh, hens that are out here. So, thanks for checking me out. Sorry this is a little bit more lengthy than I would have liked, but I wanted to show you guys the karst landscape and some pretty, pretty cool trees, man. It's a hemlock here. Not many hemlock. Hemlock will do well in super wet land and they'll do good in dry land. Very versatile, adaptable tree. That being said, I'm out. Hopefully the next video I'll have some hen of the woods. Thanks for checking it out.